Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's in this place. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, international. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Great punch. And they set it. Connects with a right. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And they're exchanging leather early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Let me see that hook now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Lee's shot is blocked. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. He is all about that left kick to the body. Continues to mix it up. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body! Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Lee. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, you come the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. And they separate. 
He got the turtle in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Uppercut counter. That'll work. Huge block there. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body. With that body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. What a punch. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there. So mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter. But when he added knees to his game, he became even better. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's some guy. I love the way oh, you talk, God. but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like a full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the more tie for oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great oh, effect. Oh, he's unbelievable. Hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Wow. He's out. He's done. He's done. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot 
that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number two. Going the winner by Knockout International. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.